Clopidogrel, sold under the brand name Plavix, is a medication that prevents platelets, a type of cell found in the blood, from sticking together. When platelets stick together, they can form clots, which can block the flow of blood, leading to a heart attack or stroke. Plavix is a brand name for the drug Clopidogrel bisulfate. Other brand names of this drug include Clopilet and Cerevin. Plavix may be prescribed for any of the following reasons to prevent strokes and heart attacks in people at increased risk due to hardening of the arteries, also called atherosclerosis, narrowing of arteries outside the heart, such as arteries in the pelvis and legs, also called peripheral artery disease, sudden reduced blood flow to the heart, also called acute coronary syndrome, or a recent heart attack or stroke. Plavix may also be prescribed to reduce the risk of blood clots in people who are having a coronary artery stent placed, have an artificial heart valve, or have mitral valve disease, which is a condition that affects the control of blood flow between the top and bottom chambers of the left side of the heart. When we take a medication, we usually take for granted that it will work. In reality, there is a lot that goes into how your body responds to a medication. Medications are broken down or activated by enzymes. Your genes tell the body how to make these enzymes. Changes in the genes that provide the instructions for these enzymes may cause your body to metabolize a medication faster or slower than normal. These gene changes, or genetic variants, can affect how well a medication works for you and the risk of side effects. CYP2C19 is one of the genes involved in drug metabolism and the first gene that the CPMC is releasing results for. CYP2C19 can impact how many drugs are metabolized, including the antiplatelet drug clopidogrel and the anti-ulcer proton pump inhibitor drug omeprazole, commonly known as Prilosec. Each gene associated with drug metabolism, including CYP2C19, is expected to have multiple sites of variation. Each combination of genetic variants in or near a gene is called a haplotype. There can be many different combinations of variants for each gene. To help identify the different combinations, a numbering system is sometimes used. In the example, one combination of variants in the CYP2C19 gene may be called STAR3, while another is called STAR2. The DNA sequence that makes an enzyme with normal or typical function is usually called STAR1. Since we have two copies of each gene, one from mom and one from dad, each person will have a combination of variants called a haplotype from each parent. When genetic testing is performed, the results are noted as two numbers, one representing each combination of variants in that gene separated by a slash. For example, someone who inherited the combination of variants from their mother known as star two and the combination known as STAR3 from their father, would be a STAR2 slash STAR3 for the gene tested. Some people have combination of variants that are rare and have not been studied or named. Sometimes the genetic test that is performed cannot determine a person's result with certainty. Haplotypes, or combinations of gene variants, can be used to predict how a person will respond to a drug. The predicted response is called a metabolizer type. For example, someone with a star one slash star two haplotype would be an intermediate metabolizer. There are five different metabolizer types for the CYP2C19 gene. Poor metabolizers and intermediate metabolizers have reduced CYP2C19 enzyme activity and are not likely to receive the full benefit of clopidogrel. Poor metabolizers and intermediate metabolizers of clopidogrel, or Plavix, are expected to be at an increased risk for heart attack and stroke. Extensive metabolizers have typical CYP2C19 enzyme activity and are expected to benefit from the standard dose of clopidogrel. Ultra-rapid metabolizers have increased CYP2C19 enzyme activity and are expected to process clopidogrel more quickly. It is possible that ultra-rapid metabolizers may benefit more from taking clopidogrel, but it is also possible that the risk for bleeding is higher in ultra-rapid metabolizers. In some cases, 
the expected response to clopidogrel is not known and cannot be predicted because no patients with that particular combination of genetic variants have been studied to know how they would respond to the drug. In some cases, genetic testing provides enough information to determine the general response category, such as suspected reduced activity or suspected increased or typical activity, but the specific metabolizer type cannot be predicted. In other rare cases, the CPMC will not be able to predict a response due to a technical limitation in the testing process. The frequency of each metabolizer group can be different in each racial or ethnic group. Your personal CPMC results will show how common each metabolizer group is in your racial or ethnic group. You can view this information in your personal report by clicking on the About tab and then the How Common tab. Information is not available for all racial or ethnic groups. If data is not available for your race or ethnicity, your report will include information for the Caucasian population. Some supplements and drugs, including prescription and over-the-counter, may decrease the effect of clopidogrel or increase the risk for side effects. Talk to your healthcare provider if you are taking clopidogrel in addition to any of the following drugs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, these drugs, commonly prescribed for pain relieving, fever reducing, and anti-inflammatory effects, can cause gastrointestinal bleeding when taken with clopidogrel. Common NSAIDs include aspirin, ibuprofen, Motrin or Advil, and naproxen, Aleve. Proton pump inhibitors are drugs that are commonly used to treat heartburn, peptic ulcers, and other gastrointestinal conditions. PPIs can reduce the effect of clopidogrel, making it less effective at preventing blood clots. Examples of common PPIs include Prilosec, Zegarid, and Prevacid. Warfarin is a blood thinning drug. When taken in combination with clopidogrel, warfarin, which is sometimes called Coumadin, has been shown to increase the risk for bleeding. For a list of drugs that may interact with clopidogrel, please see the link on the educational page or in your report. Do not make any changes to your medications without talking to your doctor. As usual, there will be a lot of information in your CPMC results. Some of it will be general information and some of it will be personalized to you based on your genetic test results. The About tab will provide general information. The Results tab will contain your personalized result what we found in your DNA, and an interpretation, which is how your results can impact your response to the drug clopidogrel. As you can see in this sample report open to the result tab, the CPMC tests for eight variants in the CYP2C19 gene. Each variant tested is listed by its RS number. This is the number used by scientists to name genetic variants. In the next column, you will find your results. Because we have two copies of every gene, one from mom and one from dad, everyone tested will have two results represented by letters, for example, C, T, for each variant tested. In the last column, we display the reference value. The reference value shows the result for someone who is expected to have a normal or typical response to clopidogrel. Since it is your personal combination of variants that is important for interpreting your results, you will be provided with the common name for your combination of results. For example, in the sample report, the combination of variants in the CYP2C19 gene are also referred to as CYP2C19 star 1 slash star 17. People who have a CYP2C19 star 1 slash star 17 result are ultra rapid metabolizers. Information on what it means to be an ultra rapid metabolizer can be found on the tab labeled Your Result Interpretation. Your Result Interpretation will give you information about how your personal result will impact how your body metabolizes clopidogrel. For example, if you are an ultra rapid metabolizer, your result interpretation would indicate that you may process clopidogrel more quickly than people with other variants and that some studies suggest that ultra-rapid metabolizers may have an increased benefit from clopidogrel, while other studies suggest an increased risk for bleeding. For some results, we will not be able to provide an interpretation. It is important to note that CPMC testing alone cannot fully predict your response to Plavix or any other drug. 
Other factors like body weight, other health conditions, and other medications may also influence the way a person will respond to Plavix and other drugs. It is possible that you may have other genetic variants that occur in the CYP2C19 gene that are not tested by the CPMC. Also, it is possible that you may have variants in other genes that influence your response to clopidogrel or Plavix. For more information about your CPMC, CYP2C19, and clopidogrel or Plavix results, consider sharing your CPMC results with your healthcare provider or contact a CPMC genetic counselor or pharmacist. You can also read the information provided on the CPMC health education page.